isang bayang lingkod sa iyo. Hali na Jesus, hali na, hali na Jesus, hali na. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who are weighed down from of old by slavery beneath the yoke of sin may be set free by the newness of the long-awaited nativity of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous shoot to David. As king, he shall reign and govern wisely. He shall do what is just and right in the land. In his days, Judah shall be saved. Israel shall dwell in security. This is the name they give him the Lord our justice. Therefore, the days will come, says the Lord, when they shall no longer say, As the Lord lives, who brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but rather, As the Lord lives, who brought the descendants of the house of Israel up from the land of the north and from all the lands to which I banish them, they shall again live on their own land. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment and though the king, and with your justice, the king's son, he shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous deeds, and blessed forever be his glorious name. May the whole earth be filled 
with His glory. Justice shall flourish in His time, and fullness of peace forever. Please stand. O leader of the house of Israel, giver of the law to Moses on Sinai, come to rescue us with your mighty power. Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. He had no relations with her until she bore a son, and he named him Jesus. My sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon to all of you. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue our Advent journey, and we are now on the third week of Advent Monday, we basically preparing for Christmas, we heard in our first reading today that the coming of Messiah, as foretold by the prophets Jeremiah, a descendant of David will rule as king. The name given him, the Lord, our justice. The righteous shoot which Jeremiah described would be a welcome relief to the Jewish people as he predicted the rise of a just and holy king who will lead the people to a new level of greatness. 
St. Matthew, in our Gospel for today, tells us, his reader, the meaning of the word Emmanuel. God is with us. Matthew stresses that with the Spirit coming upon Mary, the recreation of the whole world took a big leap forward through the work of the Holy Spirit. And Jesus was conceived in Mary's tomb. But at the same time, to happen the plan of God to save us, he needs Joseph, a righteous man, who, after hearing the message of an angel, cooperated, followed the commandment of our Lord. Despite the difficulties or perhaps doubts that beset the pregnancy of Mary after listening to the message of an angel, he obeyed despite the difficulties he personally endured. My dear brothers and sisters, in our lives, the great breakthrough in the realm of the Spirit and in our personal ventures did not come from nothing. They were the end product of a great deal of effort and preparation. If we have known moments of deep personal peace, it is because we have battled or struggle for it. In the same way, the great Passover of the Lord did not come from nowhere. It was the end result of Jesus' obedience to the Father that began to Mary and Joseph as a young woman and a righteous man. Sabi ni Mary, let it happen as you say. And Joseph's obedience in making Mary as his wife, we heard in our gospel for today, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. My dear brothers and sisters, our own simple moments of submission and obedience can give birth to period of great achievement. Joseph and Mary are teaching us the value of obedience. That when we surrender everything to the Lord and trust our Lord, we will achieve His plan for all of us in a personal way and as a people of God. Let us continue to learn and relearn how to follow our Lord especially his commands of loving God and loving our neighbor. Please stand. In union with St. Joseph, the man of great faith, let us make our prayers together as God's family, to the true Father of all. Father of all, bless us. Father of all, bless us.
that the Pope, bishops, priests, and consecrated men may, like St. Joseph, mirror God's love by their fatherly care. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, bless us. That government officials, like St. Joseph, may be sensitive and discerning of God's plan as it unfolds in the day-by-day -day events of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, bless us. That fathers may show special love and concern for their families through their diligence and edifying life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, bless us. That those who are undergoing crisis in their personal and family life may have the hope and faith of St. Joseph. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, bless us. That through the intercession of St. Joseph, the dying may find consolation in their last hours. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, bless us. O Lord, help us to be united as one family under your fatherhood. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this sacrifice to be offered to you, O Lord, make us acceptable to your name, that we may merit for all eternity to be the companions of Christ, by whose death our own mortality was healed, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer exultant in his praise and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest Please kneel. You are indeed the holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the skips we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, 
He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Friends, this is Jesus 
the son of Mary and Joseph, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. May we receive your mercy in the midst of your temple, O Lord, and show fitting honor to the coming solemnities of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh, 